What is up guys, Brett Varg here, bringing you another video. Here we are playing some Black Ops 3. Uh, so, this is my first game, I've posted another one, kind of screwed up the editing, so I uh, took it down. I'm using the HVK, don't really know my perks, uh, playing some Kill Confirmed on this map. Don't really know the name of the maps in this game except Combine, which is a piece of poop. Don't play on that map, and I hate how people voted in. It's like a Nuketown, but worse, if that's even possible. Nuketown's a pretty shit map, too. Really, it's just long sight. Like, I hate short maps with long sight lines. Essentially, there's no cover in those maps, and it's like, oh, pray you don't get shot while running to the other side. This map, you know, I don't like either, because I feel like it's kind of like the same idea. Like, if you, I mean, past this building to my left here, there's really nothing else and no cover. So that's why I'm, like, playing it back, and I know people are going to come at me. Pick up a Vesper, which helps me out. The HVK, how do I feel about it? It's, uh, recoilless. It has literally no recoil. Vesper, best gun in the game. So having like two guns, you know, one cover my, you know, the assault rifles, less than stellar, uh, close up performance with the uh, Vesper and my assault rifle taking out the long distance, it's pretty good. I have a grip and red dot and quick draw on the HPK, if I'm not wrong. Uh, my score streaks are UAV, Talon, and Raps. How do I feel about those? Uh, the UAV, I feel like costs too much. 500 points is a lot. And you can, oh, well, you can use uh, anti-up. Well, anti-up gives you 75 points. That is not even a kill less than it is, you know, for the UAV. It's still five kills in a TDM game. Uh, I'm using the overdrive, overclock. It's essentially it's the one where you get more points when you, uh, specialist bonus. And uh, you get more points whenever you activate it. I get like two or three kills with it while I activate it. It really is a, I don't, I get nervous when I use it because I'm like, ooh, I gotta perform with it to get a lot of points for it to be useful. I recognize the Purifier is probably the best one. That one's insanely good, but uh, can't really change it. Here I got my Talon. I get shot while I'm in this Talon, but uh, you know, I'm just trying to, trying to just go in at them and not try to get shot down, you know. The talent sometimes, I feel like it just shoots through people, like right there, it felt like it just shot through that lady, but, you know, what can I do? Can't really change it. Feels like my bolts go through a lot of people sometimes. I've seen that a lot, but that's Treyarchs, really not known for their hit detection, they're pretty, pretty terrible at making games with good hit detection. But, you know, Infinity Ward was really good at that. Also, they had good maps, I like their map making. I think... Well, Treyarch had a better balancing system, but I don't know. So after that talent, I didn't get my wraps because I died, but uh, now I have just to restart the setup. One thing I hate about this game is the spawns seem to flip so much. Like, you'll run one place, and then the spawns flip, and then you'll run the other place, and the spawns flip. And it, they just flip and flip and flip, and it's like, it gets annoying to have to run back and forth, and really nowhere is safe. Like, oh, you know, I need to run back to my spawn to recover my ground because I'm being too aggressive well then your spawn may flip on you and it's oh okay well I guess the spawns over there I don't really understand the spawn system in this game at all I think it's pretty one of the worst I've ever played I think it's mostly due to how fast all the movement is everyone's super fast so they can cover a lot of ground because you have a limited sprint and you know so then that makes like let, like the safe respawn system kind of like it screws up the algorithm they use because they probably didn't change the algorithm too much but, uh, yeah. Switch to my... I always run a pistol. I don't I don't know why I prefer my pistol. Because, you know, back what Captain Price said back in COD 4, it's switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. I just... I really feel like if I don't use one, then I'm going to lose out on a kill or I'm going to die. Because I can just, you know, kill someone immediately. Or, you know, have to switch it out and pull up one shot. Especially with shotguns, I recommend you use a pistol. So I pick up the M887 in this game, I don't know. It might be the best assault rifle in the game. Thing is ridiculous. It's really good. Like, I'm sitting here just picking off these guys as they come at me, you know. They're going to keep coming, I'm going to keep shooting. You know. Normally, in, like, another, in, like, Black Ops 2, I would go get those tags. But because this game spawns, won't, like, respawn someone safely, I choose not to do that. You know, now I'm trying to run around, trying to find a few people, and I'm like, okay, well, I see my teammates over here, and I see some red dots, so I'm going to go to them. I'm really nervous at this point, like, okay, well, this guy's coming behind me. I don't know how he didn't kill me. Let me tell you, that was a 
That was really, really lucky that he he didn't kill me. At first, I start running back, then I realize my team is the other way, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna just run the other way then, you know. I check out this window, because usually there's people hiding on that ledge to the right of that building. So I just check on it to make sure. I just run at them a little bit. I know they're going to be coming around these corners in a second, so I'm just uh, playing the waiting game. And just waiting for the one, because they usually just jump around the corner immediately, but I was like, I know they're going to come. You really got to play it safe and not like go against your intuition of them coming at you. So, got to take it slow. Not really slow, but you just gotta you gotta really trust that they're gonna try to come and kill you, cause they will, and that's how you die a lot in this game. I realize I it's not like other Call of Duties where I can kind of like fight the spawn change where I can you know cause a spawn change. This one will keep spawning them until they kill you because the safe respawn is not away from you. It's actually right next to you and looking at you up your ass so that they can just shoot you. It's really insane and stupid. How do I feel about the talent? It, it, I know it's a lot like the one in Black Ops 2, which I liked, I guess. It was fun. Um, I like this one because it does real well. Like, you know, you can just have it cover around by itself and it'll shoot people for you. But, uh, I prefer to, like, control it, get more kills, and, you know, drop tags for my team to pick up if they actually ever got over there, but... I know that, uh, I know that in Hell Confirmed, killing kill streaks, like, ones that get kills aren't nearly as good as, like, like, for the team, like, as, uh, the hater or the counter UAV. However, in this game, those kill streaks suck. Like, in the Blackboard or Orbital VSAT was actually really good because, you know, it couldn't be shot down, but now it can be shot down. It's really, really not good. And you unlock it, like, level 1,000, so I'm not there yet. I think at the time of recording this, I'm, like, level 22 or something, so... I don't know. I really hate how they can, like, how you unlock kill. Like, you have to, not only do you unlock them, like, with a level, you have to unlock them with a token. Why do you need that? It's like, why didn't I understand Black Ops 1's, like, currency system? Like, oh, that's a cool system where you can unlock all the, like, all the perks in any order you want. But why do I have to unlock the guns, not only with a currency, but with, uh, a level like why can't I just unlock you know AK 74U at level one, four when I get creative class? I thought that's how the system should have been done and how they described it because they described it. The guy you know the creator said, well like if you're an LMG user and you get a sniper rifle, well you're not gonna be happy about a sniper rifle. Why would you want that? So why not just you know you'd rather have an LMG? So I'm like I guess that makes sense you know unlock all the MG the LMG one or the guns, but then they implement it with just a normal level up system to unlock the weapon but you have to add another barrier to get it which is currency which was never a problem unless you bought like all the camos for that gun and all the attachments and I guess it kind of ran into a problem of not having enough but if you just focus on the guns you wanted and the kill streaks you wanted you could buy the kill streaks and the guns you know and have money left over at the end which I always did so you know I don't know how they're how they make it work yeah, I called my town a little early. I wish I kind of didn't because I use some of the like I use like 25% of its like time. That's fine. So I'm going right now for my wraps. I think this is my third talent. Uh, you know I don't think any of them are impressive. They're actually at this point shooting down kill streaks, and a lot of my kills were just them trying to shoot down kill streaks. So you know, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think shooting down kill streaks is definitely just pro because. You're not shooting on kill streaks. You're not really helping your team. Like if you're if you're gonna give your team kill streaks, shoot them down. Like if you're gonna give the enemy team kill streaks, shoot them down for your team, for the guys who're doing well, because it just ruins it. It really does. That you know. I always carry a launcher on some of my classes, but uh, that's the end of the video. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please subscribe for more.